Hello everybody, Scott Golden here with the Mid-South Wrestling Review Series for the 28th of May, uh, 2000 and, uh, I'm sorry, 1983, no, not 2020, that would be awesome if Mid-South were still around. Um, I mean, we kind of get things heating up, I've, I've watched up through July, so hopefully most of that's going to be up today, about 10 more episodes up there, but anyhow, um, Ted DiBiase discusses his injury. Jim Duggan had jumped him a while back with a uh, two by four. He says he cannot wrestle due to the injury of his back, and thus he is giving the newest member to Akbar's army the opportunity and permission to wrestle on his behalf and defend the tag team championships. That is Boris Zukov, and um, Boris is relatively new. Mr. Olympia and, Zer and Zerkov against. Uh, Johnny Rich and Tim Horner is up next. And so, I mean, that's a really basic um, match there. Obviously, Rich is relatively new. He's coming into the area and uh, hitting a few shots on Zerkloff early. Um, whiffs him into the corner, side head like takeover and the like. Really basic stuff. And then we see Mr. Olympia come in and he gets cranked on as well. Again, you're not going to see a lot of uh, extra motion from either of these guys. DiBiase still at ringside, able to, uh, um, you know, kind of get easily distracted. Interesting that they put Rich in with a guy like Zerkov, uh, and and all more, not major talent on his partner's side, but uh, um, certainly the DiBiase angle. Just an interesting thing that Rich is relatively new and being given that opportunity. Um, then we see a tag off and... Uh, a hard shot by um, Mr. Olympia, Irish whip by Olympia, and a back elbow, and ultimately um, a side headlock attempted, and Olympia uh, takes Horner down with a, um, a toss, and then Horner goes up and over, actually falls on his attempt, but does not uh, completely botch the move. Instead, uh, we see Olympia come back around, Zerkov come back into the ring. Zerkov, of course, becomes a big, uh, well, not big star, but a medium star in the World Wrestling Federation, a, a cross body by um, Horner and Horner back to his corner, tags off to Rich. Rich comes in, takes a couple of uh, shots from Zerkov, and me meanwhile, uh, certainly... Um, Skandor Akbar extremely happy with everything that's going on in his general direction. We see the drop of the elbow by Olympia, and Olympia manages to uh, hit some shots. And um, I, you know, ultimately we see a shot by uh, Boris coming in and uh, ducks the ducks the shot, sidestep, and a drop by. Uh, Zerkloff and does not get all that he wants on that. Tag off to Tim Horner, and uh, again, we kind of see some pretty intense shots right there. Uh, big back body drop by Horner. Horner with a drop kick and another one, and ultimately trying to do everything he possibly can to get things going in his possible positive direction there. Um, you know, Irish whip and uh, then the Thez press, one, two, and uh, the referee does not make the call, I, I assume, because Zerkov is actually the legal man in the ring. Referee goes around, and meanwhile, Zerkov nails a, uh, a neck breaker and then goes to the top, hit or second rope, hits a knee, and the, uh, I guess, de facto champions do okay there. Uh, then we see Tony Zane and Jim Duggan. Zane, a relative newcomer to the enhancement talent ranks, but uh, Duggan obviously, you know, going right after wishing it was DiBiase, wishing it was another member of, or all members, of Akbar's army, and uh, then we see a series of shots uh, there. Duggan sends his adversary into the corner, and uh, a hard shot by Duggan. Um, leaping shot there as well, and uh, kind of see things going in a difficult situation. Duggan um, with an Irish whip and a back elbow and uh, some hard shots. Um, uh, knee drop to the back of the spine, and again, 
Duggan really driving his opponent into the canvas, uh, trying to show that aggression and assertion and get wherever he can get. Big clothesline by Duggan and a shoulder uh, tackle followed by a football tackle. One, two, three. Duggan gets a victory. Fans select a partner for JYD. The, the uh, uh, partner for JYD ends up being Hacksaw Duggan. Duggan, a little bit, um, I guess you'd say, uncomfortable being a... Um, a, a, you know, in the babyface role, but he's here. Uh, we then see Black Ninja, which is, um, um, you know, Kendo Nagasaki and uh, Yoshiyatsu against the newly formed team. And uh, Duggan kind of, you know, with the backdrop, he, and he's going pretty intently. Uh, Dog sends uh, Yatsu around the ring. Meanwhile, Duggan sends his opponent to the outside. Um, you know, we kind of see some, I, I don't know if I'd say miscues, but certainly Duggan not willing to take any backward steps there. Uh, back elbow by Duggan, and he comes up pretty pretty readily with with all that's going on. And uh, hard kick to the to the midsection by, by uh, Nagasaki. Nagasaki again manages to do everything he can. Big chop by Nagasaki, and again... Uh, he hits he hits a, a, a rather intense situation and uh, big clothesline tag off and again there we go Duggan um, being made to look like a million bucks hits the uh, football tackle type maneuver gets a victory there uh, Rip Rogers and Tito Santana up next um, Rogers relatively new to the area as is Santana. Santana's only been around for a couple of months. A uh, big shiny jacket from Rogers. Rogers, of course, most known as the trainer for Ohio Valley Wrestling for a bunch of years. Santana not here very long, gone probably by the summer, I would say. But uh, kind of an in-between, go, go away, learn a new hold, so to speak, as Jim, Jim Ross would put it. Uh, side headlock takeover, and uh, uh, Santana stays on his opponent pretty aggressively here. Uh, Santana also kind of hooks that up and takes him over pretty pretty assertively there, and uh, uh, we kind of see that, that going in a proper direction. Um, then we kind of see a uh, attempted um, continuation. Um, Santana tries to get a clean break, but Rogers nails a shot to the to the side of the head and a big uh, hip toss and drop kick out of the corner. Irish whip and Santana big back body drop. Um, getting what he wants there, and we see uh, the, I guess, inverted figure four style maneuver with a bridge. Um, Santana gets a victory. Tom Jones against King Kong Bundy, and as one would imagine, Bundy not going to be uh, taking a loss there. Bundy with uh, some forearm shots uh, actually picks the man up at a point, and uh, then we see him hit the avalanche in the corner, and the big splash. Bundy gets a victory out of that. Uh, n then we actually see a bit more of a challenge as uh, uh, the enhancement talent taken out, and Butch Reed, who is the who is a baby face for the area, pretty assertive here. Uh, he says he's seen enough, and he wants to handle Bundy himself, and so we see Bundy and Butch Reed, which is an interesting combination, Reed has been um, kind of, I guess you'd say, an upcoming babyface, although hasn't really found a hundred percent stride yet. Meanwhile, um, Bundy using his power and assertion pretty, pretty aggressively, pretty assertively, um, drops the knee right across the, uh, you know, I guess you'd say maybe not midsection, but uh, top of the top of the head there, and uh, Bundy. Certainly going to town, no pun intended there. Uh, hard shots by Reed. Reed with a drop kick and uh, hits a second one. Uh, meanwhile, shoulder tackle by um, by uh, Butch Reed and again goes for a shot. Uh, Bundy tries to bring a chair in, tries to use the chair, cannot use the chair. Um, and a shot to the top of the head by 
uh, read and and several shots there, um, but the referee does not see or is just coming conscious. Uh, Bundy, after taking several shots, is still able to kick out, though. Much to the surprise of the referee, referee down and kind of out. Reed on the top rope, which I did not know was allowed. Shoulder tackle. Um, I think it was allowed because the referee was down. Reed actually rolls out of the ring. That's how aggressively he uh, used momentum. Uh, referee, I believe, calls for the bell, but uh, actually doesn't. Um, referee comes back to and and uh, counts the pin for Bundy. Bundy beats Reed in what would have to be an upset for the time. Super Destroyer and Magnum TA, Terry Allen. I don't know that he, no, he's not called Magnum yet. Uh, Terry Allen is the name that he's using, but obviously he goes on to be Magnum TA in a little bit here. Um, Super Destroyer kind of trying to get some ride time, trying to get as much of uh, much aggression out as he can and uh, tries to do a sit out uh, meanwhile hip tosses and the other and the other like uh, hard shot by um, magnum magnum now up with a drop kick looks good right under the chin and hits a second one but needless to say he's not willing to take too too much of a backward step uh, then we see arm drags by uh, ta and again around he goes um, the Super Destroyer tries to keep things under his control. Big back body drop for him on TA. And uh, uh, then we kind of go around about. Uh, Magnum has not started the belly-to-belly suplex deal yet. He is on the, uh, again, trying to gain ground and actually leapfrogs over his opponent here. Referee still losing control. Referees in Mid-South not doing well as of late. Uh, big hip toss takeover and a big body slam. Um, and then we kind of see some shots from Magnum. Magnum certainly going to town with everything. And uh, big back body drop again. Um, and we kind of see a, a atomic drop getting things going there, one, two, three, and uh, oddly, uh, we see Terry Allen win with an atomic drop, um, kind of a odd way to finish the program, although they don't have much time left, they literally have about um, five minutes or so, uh, in what what is an abridged program by about two or three minutes, El Gran Marcus versus Art Cruz, not exactly a match to write home about, not quite sure why it's in this position. Marcus coming out with uh, some ride time there for himself and uh, going to town on Cruz with some hard punches. Cruz comes out with a shoulder tackle and uh, goes to town there. Marcus usually, uh, my my knowledge of him is to have seen him in world class. I uh, actually think it might have been 83 or 84, but, um, you know, he's not a terribly well-known guy for this area, I don't believe. Anyway, he hits a couple of chops. Uh, odd that um, Watts would have multiple people with the mask. Uh, Cruz, though, has been building victories as of late in the last several weeks here. Uh, big back body drop and then a uh, leaping tackle there. Uh, we see um, Marcus with a shot into the buckle and hard again hard shots there um i and ultimately uh chops and um we see an irish whip followed by a uh, shot in the uh to the top of the head marcus not really again backing up too terribly much, and with only about two minutes left, they don't really have a lot of time to close things out. Uh, they do kind of roll the credits after Marcus gets a victory. He gets that victory with a um, series of a couple of, of shots and uh, basically a forward, f- a forward fall followed by an elbow drop and, a, and another one. But uh, that leads to the victory, and so that is all he needs. But anyway, we'll come back with more right after this.